Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching. My name is Mila. Welcome to my channel. I would absolutely love it if you would subscribe to my channel, like this video and activate the notification bell. Today I'm going to do a highly requested video which is a great alternative to luxury fragrances but at an affordable price. So today I'm filming this video in collaboration with Layered Fragrances. Layered Fragrances is a brand that propose to you high quality luxury fragrances at an affordable price. I always say in my videos that I think that sometimes brands overprice their products massively. So yeah, this is basically a great way. I have to say I'm really, really surprised and positive by the brand. Uh, I absolutely love the concept and they also have three sorts of fragrances. They have their brand's own blends, basically the fragrances that they created. They have inspiration fragrances, which are basically dupes for high-end fragrances, but cheaper. But the quality, guys, is the same. I would say they are not 100% dupes. I would say more like 90% dupes. I'm going to go into the differences later anyway. And they also have their um, single note fragrances. I'm going to talk about this at the end. They are more made like for layering because they have one note. And as you know, I love to layer. I got um, sent seven fragrances by Layered. And I am going to go through them all by categories. So everyone is going to be clear. I have two of their original blends. So first of all, fuck me. <laughs> okay, so this perfume is called Fuck Me. It's the perfume that I am wearing at the moment. So this perfume, I honestly love it. And let me explain you why. So this is a similar perfume. Let me just tell you the notes first. So this is a vanilla mandarin perfume. These are the two notes you get the most. And it also has jasmine in it and some other notes, but these are the three that I can pick up the best personally. So if you like Black Opium but by YSL and La Vie Belle by Lancome, this is a very similar vibe. As you probably know if you watch my videos, I don't particularly appreciate the two perfumes I just mentioned, but for some reason I think that Fuck Me is more original than the other fragrances. I actually really like the name. Like, seriously, if I would create a fragrance, it would probably be something like Fuck Off. Like, this is basically a very um, seductive fragrance, I feel like. I feel like it's a fragrance that is really could be really likable by people. It is very good for a date. I feel like it's all age appropriate. And guys, I sprayed it yesterday after my shower and I woke up still smelling of it today. This is... Fuck Me by Layered. I'm gonna also mention that I absolutely love the packaging. It's minimalistic, but still classy. It has a wooden cup and it comes in this kind of velvet pockets. So, yeah. Uh, then their own blends, I have this one, which is called Mia's Blend. I have to say that this is in my top three favorites. So this is a Mir and Mir, I'm not sure if you pronounce it like this, I'm just gonna put the name somewhere here. A Mir fragrance with tonka bean. So Mir basically smells a little bit pharmaceutical, like uh, when you go into a pharmacy. And uh, tonka bean smells a little bit sweet and like vanilla. So it basically smells like a pharmacy where they bake cakes. To me, it's like that. It has a great lasting power. I would say that this is for the original fragrance lovers and when I was wearing this, I wasn't too sure if I'm honest, but it reminded me of something that I could not pinpoint. I was going mad like for an hour and to me it reminds me, I'm not saying it smells the same, I'm just telling you that it reminds me of Eau de Merveille by Hermès, the vibe of the perfume. So if you like Eau de Merveille but you want a better lasting power, go for Mia's blend. Okay, I'm gonna go into the next category, which are inspired fragrances. My first number one fragrance, like I'm shocked, I'm, I'm shocked. Like I could wear, 
it's my new favorite fragrance like i'm that serious i love it okay this is called dark temptation and this is a dupe for oud bouquet from lancome i would say it's 90 percent similar i'm gonna describe the scent to start with so it's an oud sweet rose perfume i feel like some people are offended or scared by oud but they don't really need to be in this case i feel like it's like the softest more likable oud you could ever get compared to the original i feel like this one is a little bit more sweet and a little bit more rosy This is just amazing. It's an Oud Rose perfume. If you like Lancome Oud Bouquet but don't want to splurge on it, seriously get this one. This is amazing. I love Lancome Oud Bouquet. I really like it, but I would never splurge on it. I think that seriously, go for it. Go for it. It's just amazing. If you like Oud Bouquet, it's a no-brainer. Just go for it. And by the way, all the links will be in the down bar below. And I also have a promo code for you guys that is great because they are already affordable, but now they are even more affordable. Dark Temptation, it's my favorite perfume of the whole line. Then I have Paris Nights. So Paris Nights in, is an inspiration for Mont Guerlain. It is a vanilla, oh my God, I put some in my eyes. It is a vanilla lavender perfume. And it also has some powderiness to it. Um, look, guys, if I am honest, this perfume, I would compliment it on other people. But I feel like it's too romantic for me. If you like Mont Guerlain, it is, a, it is seriously 90% similar. When I sprayed Mont Guerlain in shops, to me, it smells the same than this. I tried Mont Guerlain quite a few times. Uh, for the ones who love Mont Guerlain but don't want to splurge on it, again, that this is a great dupe. If you are more of a romantic kind than me, seriously, go for it. Because um, I am just not a romantic kind of person. Seriously, I'm like, keep the flowers, give me the money kind of girl. You know what I mean? This is Dolled Up. And this is a dupe from YSL Supreme Bouquet. So I've never smelled YSL Supreme Bouquet. If you like that fragrance, go definitely check this out because I think, if I'm not mistaken, that it is from the more expensive Lancome range. This is a tuberose with some fruity notes perfume. Of course, there is more notes than that, but this is the two main notes you get, in my opinion. Tuberose is basically smells like white. It's a very strong floral perfume with some fruity notes. Um, I definitely like the scent. I cannot say I dislike it. Just not for me. Then I have two of the single note fragrances. So I absolutely love to layer fragrances. And I think the best way to layer fragrances is by adding a single note perfume to, fragr to fragrances you already own. There is like loads of examples that I, I, I will give you after, but uh, let me start by reviewing the two I have. I have Geneva chocolate. Okay, I'm gonna tell you, this is in my top three, I love it. Um, this uh, could add to any perfume you spray on top, a gourmand perfume scent. This is like Angel Muse from, um, from Thierry Mugler without the patchouli note that I don't really like patchouli, honestly, like. <laughs> It smells like milk chocolate. It smells expensive. This smells amazing and lasts amazing. So obviously the single notes perfumes are made to be combined with another perfume to basically make your own, to layer your own fragrance that is your personal taste. You know what I mean? But uh, I would wear it alone. You smell of chocolate, great. This is great to layer with any of your perfumes to make it more wintry, more gourmand, whatever you like. This is, to me, amazing. An amazing chocolate perfume. If you like gourmands, definitely go for that one. I also have Neroli Sunshine. <laughs> okay, so I don't like Neroli, but yeah, whatever. 
My fiance liked Neroli and we were smelling all these perfumes together and by the way he was absolutely shocked about the strength of the perfumes. He literally thought that it was a hundred bottle perfume. When I talk about like the packaging, um, oh, I forgot to mention something. Did you see guys how fine the spray is on, on these perfumes? I absolutely love it. It really like gives you a bath of perfumes. So yeah, Neroli Sunshine. If you like Neroli, that's absolutely great to mix with fragrances to make them more aromatic. How to explain that? To make them fresher. If you think that something is too sweet, adding Neroli to it would make it um, more vine, vibrant rather than sweet. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like a really fresh, freshening up for fragrances. So as I told you, I'm just gonna talk to you a little bit about layering fragrances. So the brand have quite a few single note fragrances, as I already mentioned, like for example, the one I presented, which is G Geneva chocolate, that you can layer on top of any fragrance to make it more um, winter appropriate or just more gourmand, more your taste basically. And you can spray it like with anything you really want. It is way more easy to layer fragrances when it is with a single note. When you layer two complex fragrances together, uh, some notes may clash and it's harder. I feel like it's a very good way to start layering. Although these perfumes are not made to be used by their own, on their own, they still can. Like I would use um, Geneva chocolate by itself. They also like, they have loads of them, but let me give a few examples. They have one called Forbidden Jasmine. If you add a jasmine to fragrances, to me, it makes it more seductive and more sexy. I absolutely love to mix single note jasmine perfumes with absolutely anything because I personally love jasmine. Jasmine would go, um, for example, Forbidden Jasmine would go great with Dark Temptations, in my opinion. It would make it even more seductive. They also have one that is called Vanilla Dreams. I would absolutely mix Vanilla Dreams with... Um, any perfumes that you would want to be more oriental or if you like vanilla, you can just spray it on top of all your fragrances all year round. I have one that is called Insane Pineapple. If you like pineapple, for example, and you want your fragrances to be more playful, more summery, you could spray this one on top of any fragrance you want to make it more like pop in your face. This was my review for layered fragrances. I must say I felt in love with the brand. There are are some perfumes there are or there is i never know it's so annoying um that i will definitely use all the time i absolutely love them check them out in the down bar below don't forget to use my coupon code and thank you so much for watching um please subscribe to my channel like this video activate the notification bell and i will see you in my next one bye guys